Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be creating this card, which was inspired by this card, which was designed by design team member Vika, using products from the new February 2018 release. So I've pulled out the products that we're going to be using. I have a top fold A2 size card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I have the new collage cover up die, and then I also have the party animal stamp set and coordinating dies. And we are going to create a really cool effect where we have an acetate piece in the collage cover up and have the presence underneath of that but raised off the card. So let's go ahead and start with the stamping first. So I'm taking this taller present from the stamp set and I'm stamping it out onto my cardstock panel nine times since we have nine of the square openings that we want to fill with the presence. Now I'm going to color these in with some greens and pinks. I'm going to do the lightest color of my Copic coloring first and then just bring in one additional color that's slightly darker and add a little bit of shading to the bottom area of these presents. And you can do this either way. You can come in with your darkest color first and then blend it out with the lightest or just do as I'm doing here with the lightest first and then the darkest. And then once I have five of them colored with the green and four with the pink, I'm going to take an aqua color and color in the bows. Now on Vika's card she used yellow for her third color and I decided to change it up a little bit and I used aqua for my bows on my presents as well as the die cut of the collage cover up die. So once I have these all colored I'm just going to use the coordinating die and get those all die cut and I also die cut the collage cover up from a piece of summer splash cardstock. So I have the cover up ready to go, I have the card base that we started with and all of our little presents. So what I've done is I've just laid that collage frame onto my card base. It's not adhered down, I just have it in place so I kind of know where the openings are. And I'm adding a little piece of foam tape to the back of each of these presents and then I'm adhering them inside of those openings. And I made sure that when I added the presents on, I just kind of went back and forth between the two colors so I didn't have two of the same color beside each other. And then once I have all nine of those openings filled, you can see when I remove that collage, we have this really cool design of presents and they all have that really fun um, dimension with them because we've added the foam adhesive. So now we can move on to the collage frame and for this here we're going to add a piece of acetate too. So I have a piece of acetate that I've cut down slightly smaller than this frame piece here and I'm just adding some liquid glue to the entire frame and then I'm going to position that acetate piece directly on top there. Now I have flipped this over so it's right side up and I'm going to take the two lightest Copic color markers that I used on the presents and I'm going to add some color into these openings. Since these are alcohol based markers they are going to work on that slick acetate and they're going to leave a really fun kind of pattern where we have a scribble effect with the color. So I'm making sure when I add the color that I'm using the same color as the present it's going to be over top of and I'm just filling in those squares with kind of a random scribble of color. And you can see as I have it layered over this white piece you can see that really great color and it's going to look really neat when we layer it over the presents because we're going to have the color of the present on the actual coloring of the die cut but we're also going to get that fun color on the acetate piece. Now to adhere this down I'm completely covering the back of this with foam adhesive. I just have some really thin strips and I'm also adding some into that window opening for some added support since we are going to fully cover that and you're not going to see underneath of it. I very carefully positioned this over so it was nice and straight on the card and now you can see this great dimension we have under these windows. So the presents kind of look like they're floating under the windows and having that Copic coloring on each of those acetate openings just adds a little bit more detail to those different areas. Now for the sentiment area I have die cut that long rectangle piece with a piece of white cardstock and I'm just going to adhere this back into the opening. Since we have acetate there we can adhere it directly on top of that and having that added foam tape on the inside is just giving us a little bit of extra support underneath of this. For the sentiment we are going to have a die cut word as well as some stamping. So I first die cut the word wish which is a new die and I have die cut that from ripe raspberry cardstock and I'm just adhering it to the rectangle panel. And I'm just using some liquid glue to do this. I don't want any extra dimension I just want this right flat on the card. And then I'm going to stamp a secondary sentiment that we're going to add above that onto a sentiment banner strip here. So I have this sentiment from the gift card greeting stamp set and I have stamped that towards the left side of this banner so that we can cut off the one end and make it a straight end. And then I'm just going to adhere this right to the right edge of that collage and I'm going to position it a tiny bit over the S and the H so it kind of has a little bit of a layered effect. 
And then once we have that done, we have completed this card. It is a very unique card to me. I have never done this where I kind of colored on the acetate and had the same kind of color image underneath. But I really love the floating look that it provides with the different presents underneath of those openings. So thank you so much to Vika for creating this card for us to recreate in today's video. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope I will see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching.